Sarah McKellen! Hey, fellas. How's it going? Wonderful, Kellen. Cool. What's with the container of syrup? I'm supposed to drink it if I don't listen to you. Oh, why? Because. Okay. Hmm. So today, I've got a really cool proverb to share with you. Proverbs, in case you were wondering, are these really cool pieces of wisdom in the Bible. You'll find most of them in the book of Proverbs. <laughs> Convenient, right? <laughs> anyway, here's the proverb I want to talk to you about. If you find honey, eat just enough. If you eat too much of it, you will throw up. Okay, okay, okay. Kind of a gross proverb, but I think it makes a great point. But before I explain that point, I want to show you some examples of it using my good friends Count Lupe and Mr. Fritter. Ah, Mr. Fritter and Count Lupe are at the gym getting some good exercise. 48, 49, 50. Wow, Count Lupe. It sure does feel good to get some exercise. It does the body good, no? Yes. That is what I said. <laughs> now I am going to add 200 more pounds to this dumbbell and do 1,000 more curls. Oh, Count Lupe, exercise is good, but you can overdo it and actually hurt yourself. Nonsense. I exercise all the time. I will be a perfect specimen. But Count Lupe, I don't think you should. I will now do them as fast as possible. One, two, three, Count four, Lupe, five, please! Six, seven, I don't think eight, this is nine, a good... Ten, 11, 12. Ooh! Idea. Maybe you are right. Feeling a little crispy. Wow. <laughs> so exercise is great, but too much could actually hurt you. Now, you probably won't get hurt from weights falling from the sky, but it is always good to do the amount of exercise that's right for you. Now, let's check on them again. Oh, I've got you now, Count Lupe. Not if I get you first, Mr. Fritter. Look out! No, you look out! Uh, uh, oh, uh, yes! Haha, no! <laughs> <laughs> that's two games in a row. This is the best I've ever played. Oh, the alarm went off. Time for us to stop playing and study for the test tomorrow. Uh, study, buddy. I am playing with or without you. Oh, Count Lupe, I wish you wouldn't. I think I will. Ho <laughs> ho! Can barely keep my eyes open. They burn. They burn. Count Lupe, I, I think you should stop before. Ah! You regret it. What the? What the? Yeah, when you play too many video games, your eyes won't catch on fire. Probably. But playing video games too much can hurt your rest, it can hurt your grades, and it can even hurt your relationships. Make sure you put the controller down and engage with others and do the things you need to do. Thank you so much again, Mr. Fritter and Count Lupe. Thank you, Kellen. Learning lessons is painful. But at least now we know when to... Ah! Stop. Are you okay, Count Loop? <clears throat> oh dear. I shall return. Let's go over Proverbs 25, 16 one more time. If you find honey, eat just enough. If you eat too much of it, you will throw up. Too much of something, even something good, can cause harm. It can hurt you. And it can get in the way of your relationships with others and your relationship with God. Having self-control and knowing when to stop is a great way to honor God with your body, your mind, and your soul. That totally makes sense. Thanks for the lesson, Kellen. Anytime. Stay cool, my friends, and um, don't drink that. Okay, bye. <laughs> wow. Okay, so uh, I was so glued to watching how funny and talented and ruggedly handsome I am. I totally didn't engage with all of you or you. And uh, I almost had to drink eight cups of cell. 
<laughs> mm. Yeah. Listen, I think that watching the so and so show is a good thing. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but even when it comes to our own show, watching it all day long and doing nothing else is probably not the best use of your time. Yeah, yeah. But with something as good and wholesome and and funny as this, how how do you even stop watching? Mm, I think that is an excellent question. Oh yeah? Hey! Reveal the question. Yeah. How do you know when to stop? Got any ideas? Maybe ask yourself, is what I'm doing going to make me sick? Or uh, what about, is what I'm doing going to interfere with what I'm supposed to do? That's good too. Take some time together and talk about it. How do you know when to stop? Yeah, yeah, you know, I think we should stop shooting this episode. Right, yeah, don't want to give too much of a good thing. All nah, right, true that. I'm Brandon. I'm John. This was the So-and-So Show. See ya! Whenever I'm in need and I'm looking for help God, you're always there for me Wherever you lead me, I can follow you God, you're always there for me Oh God, you're always there for me Help me believe you know what's best for me Feel it in my soul When you are in control I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I do what I should do When you help me choose I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah I got one life to live and I wanna live it your way Oh yeah Lost and I don't know where to turn God, you're always there for me Wherever I go, you're always by my side God, you're always there for me Oh, God, you're always there for me So help me believe you know what's best for me I got one life to live.